Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at another FPS comparison of Optifine versus Sodium and this time we're also going to include Iris Shaders. So it's going to be Optifine versus Iris Shaders and Sodium at the same time and this time around we are also going to do a Forge versus Fabric comparison. So it's going to be Optifine and Iris and Sodium on Fabric versus Optifine and Iris on Forge. So we are going to end up with four different test results and we're going to test out the normal game and we're also going to test it out with shaders as well i am going to use my winter stress test map as i have done in my previous videos i have changed a few things around for example i have actually gone ahead and changed all of the settings to the maximum so as you guys can see everything has been set to the maximum possible value in the settings and this is on sodium and i've also gone ahead and changed the fov to quake pro because that also can impact your fps so the higher your fov the lower the FPS is. So we're actually gonna do a full on stress test on the system today. And we're gonna see which of the four different scenarios is gonna give us the best FPS results. And I'm gonna show the results at the end of the video. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description with all of the mods and where to download them from. So do make sure to check out the link in the description and that will give you all of the information about all of the mods that I'm gonna show you guys today. So let's actually jump in now and let's take a look at the Optifine versus Sodium and I Iris shaders on the fabric versus forge scenario. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and load up the Gamer Potions Winter Stress Test map. And this is a map that I've created, especially to stress test our systems. And it does have a lot of stuff going on in the actual game and the map itself. So let me go ahead and jump into the Winter Stress Test map and take a look at what kind of FPS I am getting at the moment. All right, so we are now inside the stress test map. And as you guys can see, there is a lot of stuff going on. And as you guys can see at the top right there, I do have an FPS count loaded there and it is showing my current FPS. If I actually press F3 on my keyboard, you guys can see that this is Minecraft version 1.18.2 and I am using the fabric mod loader and I am using iris shaders and sodium. So if I go into a mod section, you can see I do have the iris shaders mod loaded here and I also do have sodium loaded here as well. I have actually gone ahead and enabled shaders. So let me go ahead and quickly disable shaders for now and let's take a look at how it looks inside the game without any shaders so you can see that the FPS at the top right there it is currently showing as 85 dipping down to the 70s there but I would say on average we are getting close to 85 to 90 FPS and because I have actually gone ahead and raised the render distance to the maximum it is actually going to try and load all of the chunks there up to 32 render chunk distance as you guys can see right now and because because we do have the thunder weather setting enabled as well there is a lot of stuff happening right now and we are also on the rails so the scenario is changing quite rapidly as you guys can see so i would say on average we are getting close to 85 to 90 fps and this is on the iris and sodium without any shaders let's go ahead and enable shaders now take a look at how much fps we can get with the shaders enabled Alright, so as you guys can see, I have gone ahead and enabled shaders now, and the game looks really nice, however, the FPS is really tanking, so as you guys can see, I'm getting close to 24 to 25 FPS maximum there. I would say on average, it is actually touching the 24 FPS mark there, I am seeing 24 FPS quite a bit there, and that is what is currently showing on my FPS counter, and because we have gone ahead and increased the render distance, it would have loaded all of the render chunks around us, hopefully and I have given it some time right now as you guys can see and it is actually stable at around 24 FPS average there so with shaders enabled on iris and sodium on the fabric mod loader I would say that on average I am getting 24 FPS all right, now let's go ahead and jump into Optifine on the Fabric mod loader. And now Optifine by default does not work with Fabric out of the box. So we do have to use another mod called Optifabric, which makes it possible for us to use Optifine with the Fabric mod loader. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Optifabric and Optifine scenario. And we're gonna take a look at how much FPS we are getting inside our game. And we're gonna take a look at how much FPS we are getting with the shaders enabled as well. All right, so we are now back with the fabric mod loader. And as you guys can see, I am in the mod menu section here and it is showing that I do have the Optifabric mod enabled here. If I go back into the options, click on video settings. If you have a look at the bottom left here, it does say Optifine HD87 Ultra. And this is on Minecraft version 1.18.2. And you can also tell I do have Optifine enabled here because I do have the shaders button. 
And similar to how I did have it with iris and sodium, all of the settings have been turned to the maximum, as you guys can see. I am going to leave this on 32 chunks, even though Optifine allows us to actually take this all the way up to 64. I am going to turn it down to 32 chunks because that is what I am achieving on the sodium mod as well. So let's leave it at 32 chunks for now and let's go back and load up the Gamer Potions Winter Stress Test and have a look at how much FPS we are getting with the Optifine mod. Alright, so we are now inside the game here and we haven't got any shaders enabled. I have gone ahead and let this run for a while and the chunks hopefully should have loaded by now. And as you can see on average, it is actually fluctuating between 58 to 75 FPS. I would say on average I am getting close to 70 FPS based on the results here. So with the OptiFabric mod and OptiFine on the Fabric mod loader on version 1.18.2 without any shaders I am getting close to 70 FPS. Let's go ahead and enable shaders and take a look at the FPS with shaders enabled. Alright so as you guys can see I do have shaders enabled now and everything looks really nice and interestingly I am getting higher FPS than what I was getting with iris shaders now for my shader pack i am using the silders vibrant shaders this is the medium version version 1.32 and this is the version that you can actually download from the curseforge website as well again i am going to leave a link in the description where you guys can download this shader pack do check out the shader pack it's a really good one and as you guys can see on average i am getting close to 28 27 fps there and this is slightly higher to what i was getting with the iris and sodium combination on the fabric mod loader so that is quite interesting it could also mean that the Silders vibrant shaders is better optimized for optifine rather than the iris shaders mod as well so let's go ahead and say that on average i am getting 26 fps on the Silders vibrant shaders on the optifabric optifine mod with fabric on version 1.18.2. Let's go ahead and do the same test now. So we're gonna compare iris shaders and sodium. I'm also gonna compare the Optifine mod on the Forge mod loader on version 1.18.2. Alright, so as you guys can see, I do have the latest version of Forge enabled here. This is Forge version 40.1.0. So as of today's date, this is the latest version of Forge that I can actually go ahead and download. If I click into the mods menu here, you can see that I have a few different mods enabled here. I do have the Rubidium mod, which is a port of the Sodium mod for the Forge mod loader. I also have the Oculus mod as well, which is a fork of the Iris Shaders mod made for the Forge mod loader. And similar to how I had it with Sodium on the Fabric mod loader, I do have the same video setting. So as you guys can see, everything has been turned to the maximum here for the Sodium on the Forge mod loader as well. So I'm gonna now jump into the Game of Potions Winter FPS Stress Test map here, and let's take a look at the FPS I am getting without any shaders on the Sodium and Iris shaders mod for Forge on version 1.18.2. All right, so as you guys can see, in terms of FPS without any shaders, I am getting on average 84 FPS there. It is actually touching close to 96 FPS for the highs there. But on average, I would say it is stable around the 84 mark on the average FPS, which is quite similar to what I was seeing on the fabric mod loader when I was using sodium as well. That is quite interesting that the port of the sodium mod for Forge does actually give us similar results. So that is good to know. So for those of you who are using Forge, then you can actually go ahead and use sodium for Forge as well, thanks to the Rubidium mod and the Oculus mod as well, if you guys do want to use Iris shaders. Let's go ahead and enable shaders now and take a look at what kind of FPS we are getting with the shaders enabled all right so as you guys can see this was to be expected it's quite similar to what we were seeing with the iris shaders on the fabric mod loader but this time iris shaders on the forge mod loader is giving us similar results we are getting close to 22 fps on average there and it's not fluctuating that much so we can see that it has actually gone ahead and stabilized around the 22 fps mark there on average and because we are running this on 32 render distance it would have loaded all of the chunks around us and we have let it run for a while now so on average with the iris shaders mod on the forge mod loader we can see that we are getting a 22 fps on average then let's run the same test again and we're going to use optifine this time on the forge mod loader and see how much fps we can get 
with and without shaders on version 1.18.2. All right, so we are now inside the game. I do have Optifine loaded as well. If I go into my options here, click on video settings, you can see that I do have the Optifine version HD H7 Ultra on Minecraft version 1.18.2. You guys can see on the top there, it does say Minecraft version 1.18.2 forward 40.1.0 so this is the latest version of forge and for those of you who have been worried whether optifine is going to work on the later versions of forge as you guys can see i am running the latest version as of today's date and optifine runs completely fine so you can actually go ahead and run the optifine mod on the latest version of the forge mod loader and not have to worry about these things it does actually say on the optifine's website that it does support a lower version of forge but as you guys can see from today's test it is working completely fine in terms of the FPS without any shaders, you guys can see that on average I am getting close to 75 FPS there and again in terms of the settings we do have everything turned to the maximum and on average I would say we are getting close to 75 FPS with Optifine on the Forge mod loader. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it looks with the shaders enabled as well. Alright, so as you guys can see, I do have shaders enabled now. Everything looks really nice, as it did before with all the other versions. I do see that I am getting slightly more FPS than what I was getting in the previous tests. As you guys can see, it is touching close to 32 FPS there. On average, I would say I am getting 28 FPS on average using the Silders Vibrant shaders on the Optifine and Forge mod loader combination. So in terms of the Optifine FPS, I would say if you guys are looking to get the maximum FPS then go with the Forge version. If you guys are looking for the Iris and Sodium FPS and you want to get the highest FPS I would say go for the Fabric version. Obviously if there are mods that you guys like to play on Forge then do by all means try out the different versions and see which ones work better for you. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys will find these comparisons useful. Do let me know in the comment section below what kind of results you guys got. If you guys have have gone ahead and tested these various scenarios on your computers. Do bear in mind that Optifine and Iris shaders and Sodium will have different results based on what kind of PC hardware you guys are running. So just because Sodium might work better for one person, it might not work better for you and you might find that Optifine is the better mod to use for more FPS. Definitely do let me know in the comment section below what works better for you guys. If you like the video please do give us a like and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.